first at bat. The left fielder, Tommy Bam. First pitch on its way. Line drive to center field. Hicks is there and he has it for the out. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the now Yankees are setting up on defense today. And guys, taking a look at this, this defense is going to have to be stout today. Starting pitcher with an ERA north of five usually spells some barrels being found by the opposition. So these guys better be on their toes in this one. In there, 0 and 1. Line towards center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The right fielder, number seven. Stepping into the box, Eric, Eric Thames. He came through hey. with an RBI single in his last at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. If you know you got a real patient hitter at the plate, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here attacking the zone 0 0 and getting ahead. This is drilled, but right into the ship. Scooped up on the backhand. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score here comes the first pitch and he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it it's 0 and 1 fastball just misses that's ball one here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second oh and he can't come up The first baseman. You can see that this wasn't that difficult to play as it headed up the middle, but it might have taken a funny hop there. He couldn't make the play on it. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Popped up. Adamas is there, and he's got it for the first out. Back to the top of the order now. And that brings up the former gold lover Josh Reddick. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Gregorius, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. Ball two now. Remember, he was a strikeout victim last time up, but this at bat seems to be a totally different direction. He's showing good patience now, and he's got a real good count at 2 0. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. And a swing and a miss and another punch out here. Six already and that's out number two. Well it's been a rough series for him the at the bat. plate so far. The that's four field. strikeouts Aaron. in the first two games. So this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. Now, Aaron Hicks as he takes a cold strike on the black. It's 0 and 1. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Left side, but well fouled. Yankees still on the lookout for hit number one here. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7 0.
And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said forcing the opposing starter out of the game before the third inning and posting a bunch of runs right out the and gate was huge for them for from the a confidence rim. standpoint That's and for their outlook hitter. moving forward in this game. The key now is keeping Robert their foot Seth. on the gas pedal, Matt. All right, Heidi, thank you. He's set. Here it comes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hicks is under it. One down. So next Number to the plate one. for Tampa Bay, no. Willie Adamas. He really? scored after tripling in his first plate appearance. What's he got in store for us here? Here comes the first pitch. Line towards center field. Hicks is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now batting center fielder. Kevin. So two are gone Kiermaier. here in the Tampa Bay third inning, and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. He's set and the pitch. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Another multi-hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you see, he's right up there among the league leaders in that department. Here's the first pitch to him. This one is launched. Look at this. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a two run shot to left center is second of the game as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. You can just see the wheels turning in his mind on the mound out there. I was cruising, just needed one more out, then give up a single and a homer? Goes to show you, you can never take an out or a pitch for granted in this game. Now batting, the second baseman, Joey Wendell. Stepping in now, Joey Wendell, as he'll go after the first pitch and promptly line one into left center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Loud noise is right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on his stuff. Matt Duffy. Into the box, Matt Duffy. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Hicks is under it, and that's the third out. Rays get a couple as you take another look at the two-run home run. We're through three in St. Pete. It is now nine to nothing. They'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Drill down the line, but a foul ball, one and one. The one one home is swung on and missed for strike number two. Boy, he center cut that fastball. It comes in in the high 90s, but that's a dangerous location, no matter how hard you're throwing. 
And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Now and while we have a moment, here's a look at the Rays Giancarlo. Road to the Show report. Two guys there that this organization has to be happy about right now. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. No balls and a strike to count. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. He'll be kicking himself tonight if he doesn't come up with a big knock right here. That pitch was in a hittable location, and a hitter of this caliber usually doesn't let that go by. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Giancarlo Stanton next goes game. down for out number the two in the top half. Miguel. Now with the plate, Miguel Andujar. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Hey, he's looking to punch out the side right here. And if this guy's going to do him favors and swing outside the zone, that's exactly what's going to happen. Here's a high pop up. Choi is there, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're down nine to nothing. at bat but it resulted in a line out yeah he hit it hard that's all you can ask you can't control the results sometimes Matty just unlucky with the placement strike one to start the at bat he's ready here's the 0 1 bullet back up the middle Hicks patrolling center makes the play one out now batting. Final line there Number for the Yankees starting pitcher and clearly he was off his game this evening. One of the tough things to do when you're trying to have a good pitching performance is keep the ball in the ballpark. He was filling up the strike zone but he did allow two home runs. From the stretch. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line and that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. When it no left right his bat, I thought it might for a foul, but he manages yeah, right. to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. In now, Eric Thames as he sends it on the ground to first. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now about it. At the plate, the Daniel Robertson. Get runner go. in scoring position with two guns. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Line drive to left. Stanton is there and he puts this one away for the third out so a great job there of working out a potential trouble one left for Tampa but they hold a nine to nothing lead. Back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today. 